the tires are smoking. <laughs> Let's do this. What's going on, everybody? It's Mecca coming to you from Driven Hard, and we are on location today at Land Rover in Monterey, Mexico. And today is the day we are finally getting the Driven Hard Range Rover back. The starter has arrived. Uh, in a second, we're going to jump into the shop, and you're going to watch them install it. So excited to finally go for a drive. It has been almost a month, and I've been driving myself crazy. Um, but yeah, so let's do it. Hey, if you're brand new to the channel and this is your first time watching us, make sure you smash that subscribe button, turn bell notifications on, and let me know in the comments, what are you driving hard? All right, so what's been the story? Why haven't I had my Range Rover for the last, I think it's almost been a month. Bottom line is my starter failed. Moisture was getting in through one of the rubber seals. I won't take responsibility for that. But uh, moisture was getting in and uh, the, seal, the seal eventually failed. So as soon as the weather started changing and dew started coming, you know, when dew comes on the grass, moisture was getting into the starter and it shorted it out. So, I'm down in Mexico. My warranty is only good up in Canada and the US, but Land Rover, their customer service has been absolutely incredible. I've literally been blown away with how well they've been treating me, um, holding my hand through every single thing. They even gave me a personal representative to call, to email, to talk with, to take care of me through this entire ordeal. Um, they've been taking care of the loaner that I've had, and it's just been an absolutely incredible experience. And I don't know if you get this, this is my first new car, so I don't know if you get this with all brands, but I have definitely, definitely got a mad ton of respect for Mind Rover, because I had a friend who had some issues with his full-size Range Rover, and well, it kind of turned into a bit of a nightmare, but it could have been more on him than on Land Rover. But uh, anyways, so here's what we're gonna be doing today. So we're gonna, in a moment, go up to the shop, take a look, watch them do the install, and then um, oil change time. I'm currently sitting at 27,000 kilometers. My last oil change was at 11,000. I've been hearing different things from different people. So when do you recommend changing your oil? Comment below, let me know. I'm set on 11 to 12,000 after talking to some of the technicians here. Um, but I'm slightly overdue. So we are going to definitely get that oil changed. Uh, and then we're gonna jump in the Range Rover and go for a drive.
first drive in a month. Cannot believe this. Oh God. Let's. Okay, first stop, we're gonna get some coffee. Holy shit, this feels nice again. and then we're gonna go for a cruise. distance between us and the policia. See what's going on up front. Fuck. I don't want to get caught in that traffic actually on the way back. So you know what we're fucking doing. Yeah, no, fuck that shit. So you know what? We are fucking just gonna pull a Range Rover in. Suspension mode for that. Oh, I love this fucking thing. Yeah, because traffic, traffic was backed up, so we don't need to get caught in that mess. We will go find somewhere else to go cruise. Original plan was to go to the to the hill climb, but it rained a bit yesterday, so I know that place is going to be wet. And well, I know I can't do that in the not with these tires. In the mud. We tried that and it failed miserably.
right, guys. So I'm going to wrap up the video from there. It's just going to head home now, but uh, it's cool. That's actually a bat cave. Not Batman's bat cave, but a whole bunch of bats in a couple hours. They fly out of that thing every single night. Um, it is absolutely awesome having her back. You know what it's like when you're away from something you absolutely love and then you get it back. It's just being a blast. So, anyways, I'm gonna hit the road for a little bit longer and uh, head home, but uh, we got some great content coming up. So if you haven't already, smash the subscribe button. Let me know what you're driving hard in the comments down below. Until next time, everyone, drive hard.